call it the red door because the green door, the popular restaurant behind our house, uh, is called the green door and we're all socialists here. Red is the people's color um, and also it's a giant red door. So what better, <laughs> what better name for the, for the household? So come on in. Don't mind the H frames from campaign signs uh, past. Uh, bike parking obviously in the back. My name is Miles Crowder. I live with uh, several roommates, um, all of whom I've met through political activism of one sort or another. And uh, we all rent out a big, happy house together. Um, it's a bit of a commune situation. We, we uh, share a lot, um, of course, not just the rent and the overhead costs, but uh, the groceries, our meals. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice. I think people just aren't at a place in their lives um, that um, previous generations would be at, 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 at certainly at my age, I'm 31. Um, I'm a recent, uh, recently walked away from my PhD. I have a ton of student debt I'm, I'm dealing with. Um, that just my student debt collection every month is like a rent on top of my actual rent living here. And a lot of us are political activists too, so that's a certain lifestyle in itself. It's been two years straight of campaigning for most of the people in this house. So, yeah. What do you get out of it? Um, a family. <laughs> you get to you get to share each other's lives, right? It's, it's all it is. <laughs> I'm Arden Hody. So I left Ottawa for a year, um, and then I came back and went to find an apartment um, and realized I couldn't afford to live alone. Sam is a friend of a friend um, through activism in Ottawa. Um, and we met actually kind of in the aftermath of the seculars in Bill and Quebec. So we have Sue, um, Sue uh, and Steph, uh, the three girls of the house. Um, and then we have Miles and Sam and uh, Tom. So I'm 23. Um, and Sue is in her 60s. Um, it works really well. Yeah, we're all we're all pretty left leaning. Um, Miles would call us, I think, a, a communist, um, socialist commune. I think would be his phrasing. Um, I would say I have opinions. Um, I'm not as vocal maybe as, as some of the other roommates, but. Um, but everyone's really understanding um, and also come from a lot of different educational backgrounds. I think uh, we would encourage you to bring up politics at the dinner table. Um, if we didn't, we'd probably have nothing to talk about. <laughs> you want to go upstairs? Why not? So this is all the women actually, um, incidentally, live upstairs. My name is Susan Clapham and I live here with this group in um, Ottawa. I was involved in social democratic um, and community organizing and so the, the people that I live with here are also involved in that and that's how I met them. Because when you're working on a campaign it's usually 24-7 and you either learn to love each other or hate each other. The cost of living here is astonishing. So. When I talk to people in Europe, and I tell them this scenario, they can't believe it because they all think Canada is the place to be. When I talk to other people here, they get it, they understand. They understand it makes more sense to share costs with everyone. I can't really imagine living in a different situation. I mean, uh, uh, that would be the natural course of things, I think, to a certain extent, that folks will um, couple off and want to explore a relationship in another, in another living situation. So, yes and no. I see things changing, but I don't necessarily see shared living situations not being a part of my future. If I keep living with other people or there's another life path, I'm okay. I'm happy now, so.